right now. And it's incredible the amount of uh, packages and merchandise they manage and store here. This side behind me is totally automatic. You will see all these packages going up and down, right? Once she fill all the products that the system is showing to pick, this big box in the bottom will leave. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be visiting uh, the JD.com headquarters here in Beijing. This is a massive area. JD.com will be the equivalent to Amazon here in China. And we're going to be visiting all these places where they manage all the products they have and they will sell to send all around China. So it's going to be a very interesting visit. So let's go inside to take a look. JD.com stands for Jingdong, that is a Chinese name, but the westernization or the internationalization of the name will be JD.com, just the first, day, the first letter of the word. JD.com is the largest retailer in China online and offline. With around 300 million customers, JD.com has a vast network of warehouses and delivery stations. Modern technology makes JD.com one of the most advanced e-commerce infrastructures in the world. They want to define the future of shopping and set a global standard for what e-commerce should look like. And to achieve that goal, they can with thousands of engineers in China and Silicon Valley working on AI, big data, cloud computing, robotics and drones among many other technologies. We are here in one of the warehouses of JD.com checking how the sorting process of so many products like they manage thousands and thousands of products that they later will ship all around China. Incredible the amount of uh, packages and merchandise they manage and sort here like all kind of products that you can imagine from earphones to computers to cell phones to washing machines, refrigerators, all kind of electronics they will manage in all these massive buildings. Later on they will be distributing them to smaller distribution centers all around China, mostly focused in northern uh, China, near Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei province. All these areas will be connected to this distribution center and then later on deliver to the different places. This side behind me is totally automatic. You will see all these packages going up and down, working through maybe labels and readers, and they will be distributing uh, to the right place. You can see all behind me, we are like, this is like a second or third floor, uh, and these machines will be uh, distributing and separating all the items using those uh, machines. And this place is crazy, like right, right under me, you can see here. All these products are going all around this warehouse. It, it, it's massive, it's crazy, so I think this place is really important. And you can see all these belts taking all the products from one end to the other. Of course, they know where to go, they know how to distribute it. But this is just crazy how this automatic technology works. Starting out like thousands and thousands of products in a matter of just minutes. Of course, it needs to be a very quick process because JD.com is promising to deliver every product within 24 hours. Most of their products are delivered to the door of your house in just 24 hours. And in order to achieve that, of course, you need to have a very efficient logistic process. 
This compound has an area of 130,000 square meters. That is the size of about 20 soccer fields. This facility has three huge warehouses and a building with all the employees' facilities, including a cafeteria and dormitories. This complex can handle 800,000 orders per day and aims to build in the near future the largest and highest automated logistic park in the world. This is one of the many smart warehouses that JD has created in China. This kind of facility will use a big amount of data to analyze the customer's demands in specific areas and modify the local inventory to supply all the requests on time. They also have the human factor to verify and double check manually uh, some calls or what kind of products they're using or they're choosing to ship later on. And that is the job she's doing here. Like she's checking according to the screen that she's had in front of her, which product she needs to choose. She pick it up, put it in the other box down there, and then this big container will leave. Right, once she fills all the products that the system is showing to pick, this big box in the bottom will leave with all these products to be shipped to, the, to your house. So that is really interesting how they mix both ways. They use the automatic system all around the JD.com headquarters, but they also have uh, people actually double checking the code, the type of products, the information, and then they will ship uh, to the addresses that they be, they're being requested. JD focuses on AI technologies such as natural language processing, computer vision, and robotics in different applications, from retail to logistics and finance, to change the way the company operates and ultimately improve the level of the service they provide. The company offers a technology called Snapshot that acts as a 24-7 shopping consultant, where the customer uploads a photo and the system will analyze and will create recommendations using AI helping the customer to discover the latest products and trends, making the experience smarter and more personalized. At present, JD.com has built an efficient retail supply chain to provide an outstanding customer experience. With the exponential growth of e-commerce, robotics and automation has become the enabled technology for them to achieve efficiency and quality of service in their fulfillment process. They have relied on automation to fulfill their promise for same-day or next-day delivery for more than 300 million customers. They have developed a wide range of robots, including delivery drones, autonomous delivery vehicles, and fully automated warehouses. I personally use uh, JD.com a lot, mostly for electronics and uh, so personal care products. Just maybe one day I run out of uh, some product, let's say my shampoo. And JD.com has a huge uh, variety of different products and very next day will be uh, at my door house. So that's really effective, really fast, really efficient process. That's why I choose uh, sometimes also JD.com to purchase. The other category that I usually choose JD.com to purchase are electronics. The last headphones I purchased from Xiaomi, I bought it in JD.com and it's just a matter of 20, less than 24 hours. Because I remember I purchased like one day at 3 p.m. and then next morning at noon it was already at home. So it's a very efficient process, delivery process that they have and they come here. These logistics centers are equipped to deliver uh, on time all these purchase, all these products that you purchase online.
is it? This little cute puppy is the mascot of JD.com that serves also as its logo. And you will find all around the headquarters uh, of the Jindong or JD.com. Folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, stay safe until next time.